Hello. Hello there. Why is the front door wide open? Ba-dum. Oh, Ivor's coming to see me. Ba-dum, ba-dum, bum, <laughs> well? bum. Ba-dum, da-dum, da-da. <gasps> she told me about the exams. What did she say? She said that if I go to Moscow in the spring, I can audition for the music conservatory. Oh, wow. Mom, Mom. <laughs> I'm going to Moscow next year. Can you imagine? To Moscow. <laughs> well, and why are you walking barefooted, Mom. huh? You're a singer. Do you want to get a sore throat? Well, I'm almost finished here. Oh. Can I go? I was waiting for me. To the movies now? No, to the beach, to sunbathe while it's sunny. Okay, mm-hmm. go, go. <laughs> I'll finish it myself. Uh-huh. Oh. Forget Me Not, part one. Hello there. Here. Here's an apple for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, vacation came to an end so fast I didn't have time to rest. I really don't want to go back to work. Hmm. I've got this one. You got it. Back to me now. Here you are. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girls. Throw the ball back to us, please. Don't answer them. Let them come up. Well, that's awkward. Why so awkward? Don't go stay. (laughs) Whoa, watch out. What a kick. Bullseye. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. (laughs) Are you girls footballers by any chance? Would you like to join us and play? Actually, we were about to leave. Yeah, guys, maybe next time. By the way, it's time for us to go, too. What a kick you've been showing. Well, come here when you feel like playing. Mm Mm-hmm. Let's go. Are you stupid or what? What, (laughs) You have two boys. Now it's time you had a daughter. Then the family will be a complete unit. Yeah, a girl. I don't know how to get by with these two. Hey, Artyom. I've been thinking. I'm resigning from the army. I'm fed up with everything. Repeat what you just said. You heard me. I'm resigning. You see, I... I feel sorry for Marina, the children. Well, you've seen how I live with your own eyes. What are you gonna do there in this city street? Trade in the market? change tires on cool cars of some mob bosses? Be that as it may then. I'm sick of being on a tight budget. You know what? Why don't we talk about this when you've got children of your own? Shall we? Speaking of children, that girl's looking at you. She can't take her eyes off you. What am I supposed to do with her, with a teenager? Watch cartoons with her? After Sonia, I... Has she called you? Well, then she's an idiot. Hello. Good morning. Are you the new waitress here? Yes. What a pretty girl. Now all the officers will stick here. <laughs> Nastia! Hey! You could cook more of your famous soup. 
<laughs> With such a waitress, the entire headquarters will come for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> you should really go to bring some water, remember? <laughs> well, what kind of woman is she? There's a computer in her head. Instead of the heart, what do you have a there ladle. instead of your heart? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, Leona, so take a look here. Soon people will be coming. From one to four, we serve a business lunch. It means the same dishes for everyone. Bring the food, take the money, take the dishes, bring the receipt. Okay. What's going on? Here's the chalk. (laughs) 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 The main concern is the military men. If they start Mm -hmm. saying some stupid things or start being handsy, if anything, just tell me. Why should they start doing that? (laughs) <laughs> These hound dogs need no reason. Oh. <laughs> I'll show you the cast <laughs> register. It's the same age as my granny. Oh, Haliona. Thank you. Have a nice day. Anything else? One more juice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, miss. Yes? Could we have four business lunches? Yes, of course. Thank you, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Here you are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, uh, was you that go. you who was sunbathing on the beach? <gasps> oh. 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 <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I'll wipe everything. I am so... That's okay. Give it to me. I'm I'll, so sorry. I'll clean it up. Don't worry about it. Would you like some soup? (laughs) (laughs) Enough soup for today. I'm so sorry. Yeah, go ahead. As I was saying, Vasya! Vasya! All right. Okay. Who is that with you? In a second. (laughs) Hello? Hello. I'm Ira. This is Aliona. And you are? Hello, my name is Mr. Grekov. Edward. A genius in the sphere of high technologies from mm. St. Petersburg. It's really nice to meet you both. You know, our Aliona, though not a computer genius, is really talented too. For example, do you know how she sings, Edward? I know, please stop. Why it. should I stop it? It's yeah, true. well, while we're standing here, the dance has already begun. Well, let's go then. Shall we? All right, let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Have you been waiting for a long time? Well, uh. Fine, look, if you don't like him, forget about him. Let's just have a drink, have some fun, and just relax, okay? I don't want to. Look, I'm going home. Silly. Where are you going? Hey.
I need to finish talking to my friend. Well, all right. Private Shumako, do you feel sick? It's okay, Comrade Captain. I must have eaten something. Captain, permission to speak to Sergeant Volkov. Granted. Captain, the 3rd Platoon has a mass poisoning. The soldiers are ill and vomiting. Find a replacement for the orderly man and take him to see a nurse. Yes, sir. You see here, Captain. It's food poisoning. Judging by the symptoms, it's salmonella. But we'll wait for the results of the tests. The case is serious. Three patients were sent to intensive care. Comrade Major, why could this have happened? Huh. For any reason. Bad meat, eggs, unexamined chicken, incorrect storage. You should definitely ask the cook what he's feeding your soldiers with. How are you feeling, by the way? I'm fine. If Salmonella is confirmed, it'll be necessary to close the base for quarantine, and the base will have problems. Problems, you say? <laughs> yes, tell her that Papa will be there soon. Well, the vacation is starting on Monday. The order has already been signed. So, see you soon. Why didn't you knock? Come on. What are you feeding the personnel with? Excuse me? I'm sorry, I'll call you back. Captain, are you out of your mind? How do you talk to a superior officer? You're not an officer, Pachuga. You're a scumbag. Hmm. You're fearless. <laughs> do you know who you're messing with? Yeah, I know. With a thief. I also know where the food products go and how you got the new car as well. Because of you, bastard, three boys are in intensive care. Well, Captain, you certainly have a lot of free time, don't you? to watch me. Yes, sweetheart. It's okay. Of course, see you soon. Mm -hmm. No, nothing will interfere, no. No, no, I promise you, honey. <laughs> Good evening. We only have some snacks left. Oh, it's you. 50 grams to remedy my health. Right away. Here you are. Can you sit with me? Did something happen to you? My parents were killed in the 90s on the border with Tajikistan. My father was a border outpost commander. Well, and during the attack, I was still very small. I was staying with my granny for a vacation at that time. So I stayed with her, and then I studied at military school. My father's friend helped me enter there, Maxim. He was my classmate, and we've been good friends since. Well, it's probably great when you have a friend like that. You're not going to receive a reprimand at work? <laughs> Oh, no. It's evening. There are very few people. Everything is fine. Are you? <laughs> I must go. The evening parade. Would you mind if I walked you to the base? Yes, of course. Little Eleona. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Forget me nots. Just like your eyes. My mom says I got them from my father. <laughs> I've never seen him, though. He died right before I was born. 
Must be hard to live without a father. Well, I don't know what it's like when you do have a father around. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Nastya? Nastya, are you all right? Nastya, oh. are you feeling sick? Oh. Uh, Aliana, it's all right. I'm in labor. I'm just in labor Don't here. Don't scare me oh. like this. Nastya, let me call your husband, okay? Why call him? He's not even here. He's out of town at the depot. The depot? Uh. And where's the hospital? I should go find a car. Uh, the hospital in the regional center. It's right. 70 kilometers from here. Can you boil some water okay. and call a doctor? With a doctor, it feels more reliable. You should go to the hospital, Nastya. Ladies, could I have something to eat? She's in uh, labor. We need to go to the hospital. Really? Oh, uh, oh. Uh, I'll be uh, Just a second. Take her, take her out to the street. Okay. Come on. Uh -huh. Okay, just okay. a second. Ma'am, are you a doctor? No, what happened? We need a doctor. We have a woman in labor. Oh, calm down, calm down, calm down. Uh, How often do you have labor pains? Often, often. Uh, are you the father? No, I'm not. Well, then stay here. You can't come in, okay? Uh, Wait here. That's okay. Let's go. Yes. Yes, I'll call you back. Please come in. Well, Captain Mikhailov, how is everything there? Did the pregnant woman have a baby? Yes, she did. A boy, four and three hundred. Comrade Lieutenant Colonel, may I go have a nap for a couple of hours? I don't mind. Go on. Only it's unlikely to work out. What happened, sir? Well, the duty officer called for the checkpoint in the evening. Your girlfriend had to come to see you, and I ordered to give her the spare keys. Thank you. If you want, have a nap. If you want, get some rest. Well, in general, do whatever you want. Thank you, sir. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Plank position. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where have you been, love? Sonia, you've come. Well, hello. Hello. Has he come? He hasn't come for five days. Unbelievable. Listen, girl. Just chill out, okay? Because who knows what could have happened. Maybe he's sick, maybe who knows? Maybe they sent him on a business trip or something, okay? Oh, um, this friend of his, Maxim, has he come here? Well, 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 well wait, wait, wait a sec. You just need to ask him where Artyom is, and that's it. Well, how do you imagine this? Hello, Maxim, and where's your friend Artyom, like that? Well, of course not like that. <sighs> Unlucky creature, huh? Why are you being like this, huh? Look, I, I, I know what you think. Let's just go to that club tonight, okay? Maybe we'll see him there. You think so? Yes, of course. <laughs> Olga? Olga. 
Olga. Olga. Is something wrong? Olga, something happened to Aliona? Olga, please don't be silent. Please say something, Olga. <laughs> Here, read it. I saw the doctor. Lord, I don't understand anything they write. Explain in your own words, Olga. What is there to explain? I have a disease, a bad disease. I must have surgery. I must quit my job. It's bad for me. Oh dear, it's why bad. didn't you say anything? What will happen to poor Leona? Why are you burying yourself oh. ahead of time? In a year or two, Leona will get married. You should think about yourself. Take care of yourself. I'm afraid of surgery. I may not be on my feet again. And then what? I'll ruin my daughter's life. It'll be all right. We'll go to a healer. She'll cure you. She'll cure you for sure. Oh. Look, Anna. Don't say anything to Aliona yet, okay? Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right? Do you understand me? Why should I spoil her life? Ah. <sighs> You've come after all, haven't you? Look, uh, l let's um, not go there, okay? Let's just go for a walk somewhere else, huh? Oh, I bet it was your idea, wasn't it? Yeah, I understand it was my idea. It's just, um, you know what the problem is? I uh, got in a fight with Vasily, yeah. And I really don't want to go there, you know? Come on, I'll reconcile. No, 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 let's no, go. please, let's not go in there. You, you don't have to try to make us up. Really, really, oh, let's just have a walk, get some fresh Where have just... you been? I've been waiting for you for ages. Wait a minute, I don't get it. Look, do whatever you want with me, but I'm not letting you go in there. You shouldn't go in there. He's there, isn't he? Aliona! <sighs> Who is she? It's his fiancée. Sonia, she's come to him. Shall we dance? Hey, uh, excuse me, may I have the pleasure to dance hey, with you? Good morning, sir. Chef's off. You didn't sleep at all last night. Were you eating under your blanket? No, no, comrade captain. It's just that Sashka Savelia died in the hospital. <laughs> They've just reported it, sir. How did he die? Poisoning. Liver failure. They weren't able to do anything. Does Captain Mikhailov know? Yes, he was here a minute ago. As soon as he found out, he ran away immediately. He seems to have gone to Major Pachuga. Why are you so worried, Captain? Maybe you want me to share with you? Let's discuss it. Why are you silent? To share, you say? Today, because of you, a boy died. A 19-year-old. 
He had a whole life ahead of him. Unlike you, Pachuca, scumbag. <clears throat> what are you doing? Mm. It's scary. You wuss. I'm not going to soil my honor because of you, all right? Now, I'll let the military court judge you. So why don't you think about how you'll face his mother in court? Come back. Come back. Do you want to rat me out? You're still too young, Greenhorn, to mess with me. I'll shoot you for attacking a senior in rank. And you'll see who they'll believe. Comrade Major, what are you doing? <clears throat> Why are you so calm? Why, should I be worried? Don't you know anything? What's going on, Ira? Artyom has been arrested. Lord, I gotta see him. Good, man. Get out, help to push it. Artyom! Yeah, the weather. It took me an hour to get here through your potholes. Well, Captain Isayev, shall we talk? Let's talk. But first, I want to ask why they're not letting me see Mikhailov. Actually, I've come here not to report to you, but to ask you questions. But... Hold on a second. Yes, sir. Now report in due order. Did you in fact witness what happened? How did Mikhailov behave? Was he sober? Mikhailov has never had a drop of alcohol on the base, sir. And, well, Pichuga started first. He was armed. So you were present from the very beginning and didn't stop Mikhailov, but just watched your friend beat your colleague? You just stood there, did you? Not from the very beginning. Mikhailov learned the death of a soldier, and Pachuga was to blame for this. Who was to blame? For the poisoning of personnel is to be figured out by the investigation. Everyone knows about this. RTM told me about it a long time ago. So Mikhailov had a long-standing personal animosity to Major Pechuga, didn't he, right? Uh-huh. You want me to slander my friend, is that it? If you want to know my opinion, Pechuga is a thief, and he got what he deserved. Comrade Captain, Major Pechuga has been severely injured, and he has a wife and a little daughter. It seems to me that you have small children, too. Imagine that they will stay without a father for a long time. And why is that? Because if Pachuga dies, you, Isayev, have every chance to be convicted with Mikhailov for complicity. Well, Isayev, you have a cigarette. Calm down. Just calm down, okay? No one is going to take you to prison. But right now, I need a clear picture. Do you understand me? Well then, shall we start from the very beginning? Tell me now, how long did Captain Mikhailov have personal animosity to Major Pechuga? Hello, my friend. I thought I would die here without seeing a human face. How are you holding up? Well, as you can see, How's Sonia? Have you seen her? Sonia's fine. Is 
she's worried about you. I got a call, finally. They let me see you, but... I, uh... I must convince you to stop the hunger strike. Artyom, understand this is meaningless. Listen, man, they stripped me of my rank, Maxim. And now they're actually going to kick me out of the army. I didn't know that. And the fact that my soldier didn't die from a bullet, but a piece of meat he'd eaten in the canteen, all right? I bet you didn't know that either, did you, huh? I understand you perfectly well, but you hit Petruga really hard. What are you talking about, Maxim? Yes, I hit him. I hit a bastard who wanted to shoot me, all right? You saw it all, didn't you, Maxim? Tell me. You can't prove anything right now. Not until Pachuga wakes up and he gives his testimony. You understand what kind of testimony? All right. I wanted to tell you about the testimony. They told me that they were going to prosecute me as well. Artyom, I, I couldn't do anything else. You understand perfectly well, I have Dimka and Fedka. And Marinka, she, she's not going to be able to, to raise them alone. I, I couldn't do anything else. Well, I'm sorry, man. Do you hear me? Hey, open the door! Open it, I say! <sighs> Aliona, we've been waiting for two hours. Can we just go get a warm coffee? No, go. I'm gonna wait here. The guard said things are looking grim. Some superiors have arrived. He's totally getting the worst of it, for sure. He's gonna get the worst sentence. Well, I don't believe that he could have killed a man. They've gotta let him go. Hmm. Look over there. Aliona! Could I ask you about Artyom Mikhailov? What did the judge say? Two years of minimum security prison. Bastard. a maximum security prison. That's absolutely horrible. My father told me about it. So wait. wait. What are you doing? Good afternoon, Sonia. Do I know you? I know. I, I'm a friend of Artyom. I wanted mm. to ask you if I can send him a letter with you. You are going to see him. Where am I going? I don't get well, a thing. to the prison. I've heard that you can live there with a the family. Where are you going? <sighs> Girl, how old are you? I'm 19. I'm 25, and I'm not going to spend two more years living in prison, you get it? Well, you're... You're his fiancé. He loves you. He should learn to stop loving me. Well, you can't do that. It's... It's our team, after all. You're in love with him, aren't you? It's all clear now. Just don't lecture me about love. And don't try to make me feel ashamed. I've been following Artyom for three years to all the military bases like a loyal dog. I'm fed but up. this is a betrayal. I really am. What do you understand about life? Do you want to go? Go. No, you won't go. I would if he asked me. He asks for nothing, self-respecting. He won't ask. Moreover, he doesn't mean anyone, stupid girl. I mean, he's Superman. How are you? Well, I'm fine. 
My mom and I have decided that I should go to Moscow. There is a chance to enter the introductory course. Great. You, you really must go. You can do it. Thank you for coming. I... I will remember it. I could write to you. A girl's letter to a prisoner. No. Not my style. But why? I don't want to be reminded of a past life, okay? You can't do this. You don't survive otherwise. Go, Aliona. Go. Good afternoon. Hello. And how do I find Maxim? What's his last name? I don't remember his last name. He is... He is a captain. He serves with Artyom Mikhailov. Well, ah. he used to serve. Isayev. Mm-hmm. I will try to call the headquarters. Thank you. Uh. Uh. Hi. Good afternoon. It was you in the cafe, wasn't it? I wanted to talk to you. You are Artyom's best friend, aren't you? I guess so, yes. And I thought that you... I thought that you would know where he was sent. I have no one else to ask. Let's say I know. Why are you asking? I wanted to write him a letter. Come in, I'll make you a cup of tea. It's not comfortable to talk at the checkpoint. It's not the first time Sonia's run away. What do you mean? Before the transfer to this base, Artyom proposed to her and, well, she didn't turn up at the civil office. She didn't explain anything at all. Artyom was really upset about it. And then what? Six months later, she came back. Artyom was really happy. And what about me? I wasn't going to ruin it all. You... You like him, don't you? I went to see him in jail. He doesn't want to live, you see? Well, if he responds to you, let me know how he is. Daughter, call me as soon as you have arrived, okay? Mr. Stepan Nikolaev will meet you at the station. We agree on everything. And look, you gotta write to me, okay? Don't forget to do it. I'll come visit you in the summer, all right? Does that sound good? Oh. Okay, well, well, the train's Mom, arrived I'm not at the going. platform. What are you talking about, dear? Mom, I can't. You get it? You should have seen his <sighs> eyes. He wanted to die. I need to see him. Who is he to you? Come on, Aliona. Seriously, don't be stupid. You're going to Moscow, girl? Well, I won't be long. I'll go and come back, okay? And the ticket? I'll return this ticket. I'll lose some money. Is it a problem? Oh, Mom, well, please, I beg you. Well, don't worry. Mom, please. Okay? I don't understand. Please, Mom. Take it easy. Oh, oh go. I don't understand anything. Oh. You know what? She's gone crazy with this Artyom. I swear to God. She doesn't tell me anything. I don't know anything. A few days ago, she came running to me, all in tears. She said that uh, Artyom, her friend, was put in jail. He's not a friend to her. What? He's 30. She just fell head over heels in love with him, that's all. He has a fiance, by the way. Oh! Yeah, a fiance. After he was sentenced, his fiance vanished without a trace. Well, Mikhailov, are our rules clear to you? I advise you not to blow too much hot air and to try to get along well with the team. You look painfully gloomy. <sighs> Let me see here. What's your profession? Oh! A former officer. You like being in charge? <laughs> I'm also in charge here. Do you know how to do anything useful? I can drive a car. Well, everyone can drive. 
Okay. For a while, you'll work in the sawmill. Barikin. Yes, sir. Take him over to the dormitory. Find a quiet room without any crooks in it. You start work as of tomorrow. Let's go. Popkov, I told you not to smoke in the rooms, didn't I? I'm sorry, Mr. Correctional Officer. I got lost myself in danger. I brought you a roommate. Take him to the sawmill tomorrow and tell them to get the papers ready. My name is Artyom. My name's Mr. Matvey Popkov, or simply Grandpa Matvey. <gasps> Lie still and don't move. Give me the money. Money. Hey, listen, you. Enough sawing. Get a break. What? I said stop sawing. Break. What break? I haven't taken it. It's half an hour before lunch. That's what I'm talking about. You must run to the store. I don't understand. I'll explain it. We usually lift the elbow before lunch. You must bring some vodka. Got it? It's prohibited here, isn't it? For sure. You go to the back room, you say that you're from acid. You give 100 rubles over the price. Well, when you go back, look, don't get caught. I see. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? Look, I have to work here, all right? Smartass, huh? Look, smartasses die before lunch here, all right? Listen to me, dude. <clears throat> uh, uh, Listen to me, I have nothing to lose you here. Uh, Come on, chill out, Crooks. What are you doing, Matvey? We wanted to make a joke just to scare the wet nose. He's been there. Let's go have a smoke. These kids are green. What have they seen in life, you know? Acid only reads sounding out syllables. And Ace had no idea which end to approach the log from. I had to teach everything. Damn crooks. Don't be angry with them, they're stupid. And you're angry, I see. I'm not angry. It's just that I shouldn't have ended up here. standing. Come here, sit down. There's a vacant seat. Thank you. I don't remember you. Not a local? I'm from Guryev. Where's the place? Near Samara, the Volga region. Ah, that's why your clothes aren't warm enough for the season. Yeah, right? I didn't think about it. Who's there? A fiancé? <sighs> you might say so. But he doesn't know yet that I'm coming. Are you one of those crazy women? Varvara, why are you teasing the girl? She's in love. Well, isn't that clear? What's your name, girl? Aliona. Love. We know of this love. My blue scarf is losing color on my poor little head. My fiance's having fun in some country I don't know. What are you going to do if he doesn't accept you? Well, I'll go home. That'll be it. Just here to see him. You are reckless. Listen to me. If he suddenly drives you out, or let's say you have nowhere to go, you should find the textile factory. I work there, Maria works there, almost all women living in the town work there. Ask for Varvara Ivanova. Everybody knows me there. 
Understand? Yes, I do. Here you are. Have a snack. You must be hungry. Mm-hmm. Here you are. Thank you. It'll warm you up. Stupid girl. Where are you going, huh? Hmm. Didn't I ask you? Did I say for you to come here? I haven't come for long. I just wanted to make sure that you're... you're okay. Listen, who are you to me? Wife? My mother? Who are you? Leave me alone. I'm sorry. Does it hurt? Sorry, I'm... I... That's okay. Everything's all right. Do you have money for the return ticket? Yes, but... No buts. You go to the bus stop, you get on the bus, and you go to the railway station. Do you hear me? Take a train and go to your mother, and you never come back. Is that clear? I'm not leaving. What? I'm not leaving. I don't need you here. You thought, what, you'd come and I'll melt? I've only loved one woman, just one. You were wrong about me, that's it. I'm not the man I was. Artyom? Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi. Thank you. Okay. Barbara! Thank you. Oh. Long time no see. Well, have you seen your man? I have. Turned down? Mm-hmm. I see that. Guys, you know, they take it very badly. And you can't show you feel sorry for them. But I just wanted to help. Well, that's okay, girl. He's angry today. Tomorrow he'll be quieter. Where are you going to stay? I wanted to get employed at the factory. If it's possible, of course. I'm ready to do anything. All right. Let's go now and accommodate you at the dormitory. Then we'll see, okay? Well, let's go. Oh, poor little thing. My god. Not a palace, of course. There's a bed. It's already good. I haven't sat down since I got off the train. Oh, my whole body aches. Oof. Then make yourself at home. Hmm. Tomorrow you'll work the same shift as me. I've arranged it. First as a trainee. Thank you very much. You must be fresh out of school. No, why do you ask? I worked as a waitress back in my hometown. The thing here is not to be afraid of work. Mr. Popkov, you want to join me, have some dinner? Fruit liquor with some potatoes. I don't drink. Here, no one drinks. This goes instead of water here. <laughs> okay. Well, let's drink to our meeting. Enjoy it. You too. Served in the military? Hmm. You reserved? Well, I've been here for about... for three years. I... Uh, I was working as a mechanic at a farm. When they stole a truck with grain, they sold it for scrap metal. You imagine we lost 70,000 on it, and they earned 5,000 on this deal. That's good business. That the farm sent me to work as a watchman. Well, in short, I saw two scumbags try to get into the pigsty. The head had brought some very expensive breed. Well, all in all, they were getting into these pigs, you see? You see? And you shot them with salt? With a shotgun. 
I just shot, and one of them fell from the fence. He was injured very seriously. To the death. Serves him right. I feel pity for the boy. He was very young. Well, and I was put here, and... Uh, <laughs> yeah. No. It's a sin not to drink. I beat my husband almost to death five years ago. I wish he'd died. And why? He had it coming. What did you expect? There are only convicts here. Well, don't get scared. I served my time and was released. I would have never thought you served time. You're so... so cheerful. You're so kind. And I've always been like this. Well, don't chicken out. We'll break through. Varvara. Mm. You know what I've come up with? I'll write him a letter. They've brought a letter for you. It's so tough, Artyom. She's a little fool. And she's just a girl. Got some stupid idea and came here. Who asked her? She decided it herself and came. She feels sorry for me. You don't like it when people feel sorry Why for should you, they do feel you? sorry? Are there many people who need you? Remember my words. You'll remember her many times. I don't want to ruin her life. She has everything ahead of her. I was kicked out from the army. I have nothing left. <clears throat> what can I give her? And how old are you? 31. You're still a boy compared to me. Hello, Mom? Mom, it's me. Hello, daughter, darling. Well, how are you doing? Huh? How are you doing? Mom, I am fine. I got a job not to hang around without work. Artyom, he's okay too. He works. Well, do you need money? I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. Oh, no, Mom, thanks. Everything is cheap here. I have enough. Are you all right? How are you feeling? I'm fine, dear. Don't worry about me. Please don't worry about me. Mom, the prepaid time is almost over. I love you very much. I send kisses. Goodbye. Good evening. Hello. How much does yogurt cost? 30 rubles? Mm hmm. <sighs> Can I have yogurt and bread, please? Mm -hmm. Here you are. Thank you. Hello, Aliona. Hello. <sighs> Give me the cigarettes. I knocked and knocked, but no answer. I've come out to buy some food. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Mr. Popkoff. Mr. Popkoff. Mr. Popkoff. Uh, everything inside is burning. It's burning. Hold on, stay with me. Doctors will be here yeah, soon. It's late for doctors. I'm dying, Artyom. It's okay, it's okay. You'll live much longer. Look, Artyom. There, in the corner, under the bed, there's some money. Bury me properly, Artyom. Do you hear me? 
Hot job, do you hear me? I hear you, I hear you, Hot Mr. Job. Popkoff, I hear you. Do you hear me? I beg you. To the hospital, fast. Will he survive? Who knows? They are found lying in the streets every week. They drink whatever they can find. It's really disgusting, truly. Where did you get it? In the back room, in the store, in the basement. Who is it? From Ace. I want to get a box of vodka. <clears throat> <clears throat> Who are you, damn you? Consider me a client. Stop, trash! Ah! Oh. 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 Well, Max, to you, to having Everything fine in civilian life. <laughs> Don't forget your colleagues, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Um, have you decided where you're going? To my hometown. My parents are inviting me. My father's got links for business. I'll take a loan. I'll set up a business. They say that ex-military men are the most successful businessmen, you know? Ex, hmm. yeah. Artyom is an ex now, as well. Let's drink to Artyom. To his coming back faster. going? I want to leave. No, dear. You've just almost left. They pulled you back from the afterlife. Who asked you? Where did you learn to sing like this, girl? Hello. Well, I finished music school, majored in piano and voice. So you are a child prodigy? Look, you should make friends with our girls. They set up something like a choir and perform at all events. Oh, really? Look, that would be great. Because since I moved here, I've had no time for singing. For some reason. Well, that's great. Do you need help? Maybe I'll put the clothes in the wardrobe. I have no clothes here. Why is that? Hmm, the bag was stolen on the train. Well, I'll get by okay till my salary. Oh. oh, my dear girl. We'll go to see Natasha. She's your size and we'll find something. Thanks a lot. <sighs> well, beauty, look what I've brought you. Oh, wow. So many things. It's winter outside. This is not a minus five in your Volga region. Oh, you're still writing letters? Oh, uh -huh. How many? Five. I see. Is it your hand tired? No, it's not. Look, it looks fine, doesn't it? It'll do. And is this your whole dinner? I see, that's why you don't cook anything. You'll ruin your stomach with this dry food. Well, they stole my bag and my purse too. Why didn't you ask me? 
it's somehow embarrassing. I had some rainy day money in my pocket. It's okay, I'll get by till I'm paid. Yeah, you'll kick the bucket. Let's go. Where? Somewhere where no one knows where. Come on, stupid girl. Barbara, I can't eat anymore. Eat. I'm not an elephant, I can't eat so much. You know what food we got in the prison until we were transferred to the dorm? God save us all. Barb, I wanted to ask you something for a long time. Why didn't you leave the place after being released? Well, you're young and beautiful. And you're smart. You know, as they say, those who serve in the army don't laugh in the circus. It's the same after prison. You don't want anything. Nothing at all? Well, to see relatives? I have nowhere to go. Neither family nor home. My mother died while I was serving the time here. I have no children. So no one waits for me there. Barbara, what do you mean no one? Well, don't get married. You'll have a child, you'll travel the world. The world is so huge. Well, I can't have a child. But you must leave. No, but why? Just look at yourself. In a year, you'll look like any 40-year-old woman here. No, if I leave, I, I'll never see Artyom again. Stupid girl. Do you know how many Artyoms there are? You'll have dozens of them. Mm. Leave. Are you still in bed? Well, good afternoon, kiddo. Mr. Popkov, you're alive. They pulled me back here. Thank you. The doctors just told me that you're like, that you're going to die. And I want to ask you one last thing before leaving. What thing? Well, when you get to heaven, find my wife, Mrs. Popkov there. Give her my regards. Don't make me laugh, old man. I can't laugh right now. That's okay, okay. Uh, laughter is good for your health. I've bought you some fruit and something for you to read uh, so that you won't forget the alphabet. Let's see, I brought them with me and I have them right here in my pocket. The guys from the dormitory have been keeping them for you. Mr. Popkov, I don't want to read these letters. Well, that's up to you. My dear Artyom, I wish I could come talk to you. I miss our conversations. I miss your smile. I'm fine. I got a job at the textile factory. The people are really good here. <laughs> and they even have a choir here. I think about you every minute. And I want to write a million tender words. I love Stop you very it, old much. Man. She's a good girl. Don't you like her at all? What do you mean I do? Well, then what? This good girl, she's. In six months, she'll be fed up with such a life. She must have never kissed any guys yet. She'll hate me. She'll run. Do you know what wives these kind of girls grow into? My Mariuska. When we got married, she was only 17 years old. You didn't regret it? I regretted it. I regretted that I didn't die before her. Because without her, life is not life, but... The time of aging, as they write in the newspapers. Okay. I have to go.
watch it. Look over here. <laughs> Maxim, I don't even believe this is all ours. Well, who else is? Who will tell me that it's ours? What, do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Come on. How about we play with this one? Marina, why... Well, why are you hanging that? <laughs> Just put it away. What? Put it away? I always hang it first thing when we move in. Well, it was in the past. The war, the army, and... I thought we were starting a new life. Okay? Well, I don't know. This is the only photo of Artyom. He'll come to visit us and say, we've completely forgotten him. I'm afraid he won't visit us anytime soon. Flowers. Here you are. Thank you. <laughs> How much are these flowers? 100 rubles. Can I have them? Of course. Choose yourself. Mm. Thank you. Anytime. Sorry I didn't respond to your letters. These are for you. Thank you. How are you? I'm alive. Are you done singing? You want to go for a walk? Okay, I'll just tell the girls. Mm -hmm. so good at singing, you know? <laughs> it's all I can do. I'm not a very good weaver. I'm not a good woodcutter either. <laughs> well, have you lived to see your man? Mm -hmm. I saw you exchange caresses on the bench. He's come himself. Did you see himself? Don't hold your breath. <sighs> Otherwise, you'll lose your head and we'll have to put you back together. Hello, Mom. Mom, hello. <sighs> How are you? Oh, Mom, I miss you so much. <sighs> I love you very much. Well, how are you there? I'm fine, my love. Don't worry. Are you happy? When are you coming back? I don't know. I'll stay here for 
a while, but soon. Soon, Mom, I promise. <sighs> Tell me, have you decided about the surgery? You can't put it off any longer. Well, I'll go when my daughter comes. Mrs. Ivanova, this is no joke, sweetheart. Uh, well, tell me, just be honest. Will the surgery help? I cannot guarantee a full recovery, but, but you could still live for many, many years to come. Have you sent for me? They sent for you in prison. I've invited you. They've sent a paper for you from the prosecutor's office. Have you done something wrong? No. I filed a petition for a retrial. They're inviting me for an interview. Mm hmm Are three days enough? Well, I guess so. Well, here's your... your permission. Arrange it with the foreman on your own, okay? Can I go? Well, why do I need you here? That's all, Mikhailov. Go now. <sighs> he hasn't come, has he? Hmm. No. Maybe they work there 24 hours a day. Well, of course. And three days in a row. I told you not to hold your breath in advance. Who knows what's on his mind? He may have gone on a drinking binge. He doesn't seem to drink. Oh. Here there are only two people who don't drink. You and Barbos the dog. Oh, but even he gets a drink on holidays, huh? Barbara, have you been drinking? Oh. You've troubled my heart, Aliana. With your conversations and with your love. Oh. This is what I think. Hmm? Maybe I should go somewhere, hmm? Of course. Or should I marry Nikolai? And who is this Nikolai? The, I don't know him. The head of our factory. He's been courting me for two years. He says he wants to marry me. We'll adopt a boy. Maybe I should, huh? Hmm. I'll have a child then. I'll quit smoking. Do you know how many abandoned children there are? Why? Oh. Oh, life is hard. Mm. One day, we went to an orphanage with a concert. I cried for two nights after that. They were all so thin. And the eyes were so sad, so sad indeed. I truly think you'll be a very good mother. Why not? First you'll have one, then another. Oh, Aliona, Aliona. Maybe the Lord will smile upon me too. Of course. <laughs> Who if not upon you? We wouldn't have known but for your petition. We made a request. It turned out that proceedings had been initiated against the victim. At least one piece of good news. Well, and the joint letter that came from your fellow colleagues. Former colleagues. I was dismissed from the army. All in all, next week there will be a second hearing of your case. And if they equip me, Will they reinstate me? Well, I can't promise anything about this. This is, so to speak, not my jurisdiction. You should file a separate request with the military prosecutor's office. I see. <laughs> Thank you. It's too early for that. Can I ask you a question, though? Go ahead. Why did you hit him so hard? A soldier from my unit died because of him. I see. Goodbye. Come in.
You? Are you? Where did you get that scar? That scar's from a bullet. Well, I'm serious, though. But it's all over now, honey. You know, I was actually ready to give up. Give up? Mm-hmm. I was standing today looking out the window and... and I thought if you don't come to me now... then you'll never come. Would you have left then? Probably. Well, then I would have had to go after you and look for you. They would have to put you in prison for escape. Then you would have come back to me. <laughs> <sighs> My little Aliona. I won't let you go anywhere now. What about Sonia? What about Sonia? There is no Sonia. There's only you and me. Well? What? Acquitted. <sighs> oh my god. I don't believe it. Does this mean we can leave now? <laughs> Together, yes? Yes, I'm free. <sighs> Do you understand? I am free. I am free now. <laughs> Olga, do whatever you want, but I'm calling Aliona. Here you are. You can't reach her now. She and Artyom are going to his hometown. Why not to you? You didn't say anything to her, did you? Olga, dear, there is nothing more precious than your health. I wanted to say. But after the surgery, you see what happened? It's too late for the surgery now. That's all the more reason to call. She has love there. Do you hear? Love is a fragile thing. Oh, what if everything collapses? There, if she comes here now. Well, let the two of them come here. Why come here to take out bedpans? I don't yet know how long I'll be suffering here. She has her own life. Let her, let her live it. Oh. Do you know how hard it'll be for her? That she didn't come and didn't see you? She'll come. She'll come. She'll get settled there and we'll come. Anna, leave me alone now. Just go. Uh, all right. Anna. Uh, yes. Yes, Olga. I'm here with you. Anna. I'm scared. I'm here with you. I've gotten attached to you. Barbara, just don't cry, please. Otherwise, I'll cry too. Oh, okay. Now, have you told your mother that you're going on a long journey with him? Yes, I called her yesterday. As soon as we settle at the new place, I'll go see her. Maybe mm -hmm. you'll come to us, huh? You wanted to go somewhere. Maybe. In the summer. Summer, then. Do you promise? Mm-hmm. I don't want to say goodbye to you. How will I survive without you? You'll get used to it. That's okay. Listen. Remember one thing. Never lose yourself. Once you surrender, 
he'll destroy you. And you have a bird singing in your heart. Do you understand? I got it. Well, good luck. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <sighs> and one more thing. Be careful with the girl. You don't know your own strength. You could hurt her accidentally. Thank you, Mr. Popkoff. I really appreciate it. Good luck, my son. <clears throat> and here we are. My grandma left me this apartment. The fridge doesn't work, but I'll fix it. I'm a jack of all trades after That's all. That's great. You're so funny here. Mom and Dad look so happy. Your parents must have loved you very much. Do you know what I think? I think so too. Really, what do you think? I won't say. I will then. I think if we have a son, then then he will be as handsome as you. No. But why? We're gonna have a daughter. Who's <laughs> 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 there? Uncle Fyodor, open the door. Artyom. Artyom. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> How in the world did you happen to get here? And I, an old geezer, look into the peephole, I think, who's in the next apartment? <laughs> I thought it was thieves. I, I wanted to call the police, and this... Artyom has arrived. Well, let's drink to the memory of your parents. Rest in peace. Have you come here for a long time? On vacation? Or did they transfer your base here? Well, I've come here to stay. I resigned from the army. We're beginning a new life here. <laughs> well, you, you're always, uh, um, dreaming of serving in the army. It's a long story. I'll tell you some other time, all right? Yeah, that's in the past now. But with such a wife like yours, I think that everything will be just fine for you, to your wife. Look here, Maxim has returned to the city too. Max? Yes, 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 and I, an old fool, I forgot to tell you. By the way, his relatives helped him set up a car wash in the center, so you both can be a gang like you used to be. Together. Huh? Have you been released? As you see. Sorry, I must go. Well, wait, wait. Well, at least tell me how you are, where you are. We've moved here recently. Yeah, I know. Just yesterday, Maxim and I were talking about you. Marina, I really have to go. I'm sorry.
Good morning. Excuse me, are you looking for this? Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Excuse me, who are you? I noticed a sign on the door that says a secretary wanted, so I thought that... Miss, where are you going? You probably don't even have a certificate of education. Why? I have a diploma of a music school with honors, innate literacy. Oh. Oh, so maybe you'll agree to work as a music teacher at our school. A music teacher? Well, I... I don't know. I'm not sure that I can manage that. Darling. Well, you see, we haven't had a teacher in that position for two years. You'll read some teachers, and then we will prepare mm -hmm. the curriculum. Mm -hmm. Please agree, dear, huh? Well, are the boys asleep? Yeah, it's their nap time. Would you like something to eat? Yes, please. Listen, you know who I've seen in the street right now? Who'd you see? You don't know anyone in this city. Artyom. Don't you want to tell me anything? You mean... You mean... Your friend's been released from prison and doesn't want to see you. And then you pretend that he doesn't exist? Doesn't that seem weird? Marina, don't scream. You'll wake the kids up. I'm not screaming. I'm just talking in a clear voice. You won't like it. That's okay, I'll get over it somehow. Do you remember I was a witness in his case? Well, of course I do. You saw it all. You see. I had to testify against Artyom. Are you satisfied? Maxim, how could you? I had no other choice, Marina. They said they would put me in prison as an accomplice. Tell me it's not true. Not a day goes by without me thinking about it. I couldn't leave you alone with two children, Marina. Well, first of all, they would not have put you in prison, and you know it. You... You just got scared. You don't understand. Pachuga has connections everywhere. Where would you have gone? I would have gone to wash floors. I would have survived. And now my children have a father who is... Uh, a coward. Now you've already started drinking. What will happen next? Nothing will happen. Maxim, you must go and see him. No, it's too late. Coward. Mm -hmm. Are you hungry? No thanks, I've had enough. 